Welcome back everyone. In this video we're in Monteverde. We're going to check out this frog pond, frog sanctuary, uh, orchid sanctuary, and then tonight we're going for a walk in the jungle on a little bit of a guided tour to see what goes bump in the night. Let's go. They've got dozens of these exhibits with all kinds of butterflies. And lots of scorpions. Don't want to see any of these in our bed. But these guys are not from here. Nope. Arizona. Rather than a hand for scale every time, we'll use a sticker. Hoppery looking things. It should be noted that many of these are from elsewhere in the world. You see Australia, Thailand, Malaysia, Tanzania, Papua New Guinea, these big boys, Indonesia, Malaysia. Oh, check out these little guys. Alright, I get his flashlights. We're gonna go see if we can find some frogs. Brilliant forest frog. Yeah, that one might be easier to find than the leopard frog. Oh, there he is! Right there! Like a large almond. Do you see him? He's cute. He's only. 2.5 centimeters. Strawberry poison frog. Ooh, oh, so in this is inviting a good one. and intimidating. Oh, I think I see him right here, right there. It's so cute. And deadly, <laughs> apparently. Now we have green poison frog. Oh, there he is. Oh, he went away. Oh, that's awesome. <gasps> wow. That's incredible. Actually, this place is pretty cool and pretty big. I was a little bit skeptical originally about the $20 a mission to get in here, but there's a lot to see. So he's like eight centimeters, so. Not small. Not small. We shouldn't be able to find him. The guy said he would come and wake one of them up. Aww. That's nice. Then I'm gonna wake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. He is big. Oh. <laughs> Two of them. Wow. Oh. That's gotta be the cutest thing ever. Amazing. He is beautiful. Let I <laughs> oh man! <laughs> it's uh, azul. Wow. That is my hand shaking. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. Yeah. Look, yeah, look at his underbelly, it's all blue. A little baby. So sweet. Okay, 
okay. You can go. And wow. That was so cool. That was really cool. What? <laughs> oh, he's cool. I feel really like a tourist. Yeah, sometimes you have to be a tourist. Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's beautiful, Witcher. He's gorgeous. He has pink eyes. Yeah. Amazing. Oh. Wow. How oh. to oh. 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 <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this is just like 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 ten minutes of me screaming. <laughs> oh oh yes. wow. Okay, there he is. Look this way. Hello friend. He likes me. I think. Oh, he's bibbering. Oh, hello, friend. I think it's because oh. I'm shaking. That's oh. why he's vibrating. Oh, okay, now he's on the phone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's turned me <laughs> well, that was super amazing. We learned a lot about frogs and how they behave nocturnally, which might be very helpful coming up uh, on our night walk. Mm -hmm. We're getting a guide through the forest in the middle of the night. That was so much fun. Best 20 bucks I've ever spent. Here we are at the orchid garden. So we're just waiting for the tour. <laughs> so apparently there are 30,000 different kinds of orchids. 1,500 here in Costa Rica. So let's go check these guys out. A very tiny one. Smallest orchid in the world. Yes. Well, I always emphasize the smallest known orchid. Smallest known. Uh, yeah, the smallest known orchid. Cool. There could be smaller, we just haven't discovered. So this is the lady slipper orchid found in Canada and the States. Apparently there's 30 different kinds of orchids in Alaska and only three in Hawaii. Fun fact. So this is the hummingbird orchid. Apparently it smells like cinnamon, cloves. Give it a smell. Oh yeah, it totally does. It smells like Christmas. This is the purple guardia, the national flower of Costa Rica. The agutis. Agutis are rodents. Um, it's like a miniature capybara, like the South American. Starting to grow. And then you see three petals that attract a pollinator so it can reproduce. And one of the petals is always modified or different from the other two. So that's the only way to identify an orchid. So six flower parts and one that is always different. The green spider orchid, I always like to show the yellow one here. Uh, it's a different color and it even has a perfume too. If you want to try, this one smells very sweet too. These are the Walmart orchids. And this one is related to the one of the least and it actually has a sweet perfume. It's supposed to smell like chocolate. Oh, it's, it's correct. <laughs> that was orchids? Yep. Not as much touching as frogs, but yeah, it was really interesting. So we're going to move on to our night tour now and hopefully see some snakes and sloths and something like that. <laughs> Buenas noches. Buenas noches. <laughs> Ready to go night walking? I'm walking. <laughs> Here we go. These boots were made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. <laughs> so our guide has agreed to wear a mic, which hopefully we get some interesting stuff for you guys. 
Bye, Jason. Rhinoceros Spiro Barrel. That's the name. Or Rhinoceros Katydid. The insect that we are seeing is a considered carnivore insect. Uh, you can see it has that horn. That's attraction to the fence themselves. As you can see, their legs are kind of spiky. That's to have a better grip when they when they feed in other insects, because like I'm saying, so it's, it fits in other insects like prime mantis. The one that we're seeing, it's a male. Okay. It's completely hollow inside. And then that's why the animals use them to lift them inside. They can go up and down, you know? So funny, see them how they sleep. They open their feathers to win and talk to be inside like a, mm -hmm. to be warmer like a ball. It crawls their body and there are three legs here and three legs at the other side and this is the antennas. But because we, we touch the, the leaf, so it's kind of hiding like that. Jeez. You feel that? Wow, it's cool. That's the defense mechanism that they have. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll give you a scenario and you take a picture. Oh, no, it's kind of slippery. Yeah. yeah, it just vibrates out or what? Do it like a click? Yeah, oh. Uh, the name oh. is ah. Head Light Click Beetle. <laughs> they do that click to defend themselves. You want to try yes. it? Yes, you do. You, it's not so bad. Ooh, it just yeah. it clicks like a jar lid. Just grab the butt. Grab it. It's not stinging. No, close to my hand. Close Closer. My hand. Oh, that's so <laughs> crazy. <laughs> and you can see now, uh, this is not the eyes. It looks like the eyes, but it's not the eyes. Look at the head there. It's kind of slippery. It's kind of slippery. Now it's not moving too much. We call that a head like click beetle. The way they make the body is with these different minerals, chemicals in their bodies. Luciferina, luciferacea with the oxygen. They, they use this for, for courtship. The light is for courtship, it's for mating time. Stays on your finger very well. Look at that, it's like kind of plain there. Very cool. <laughs> That's native of Costa Rica. Okay. Uh -huh. The tarantula that we saw there, uh, the name, uh, it's an orange meat tarantula because the body is black and I don't know if you saw part of their legs, like the knee is orange. Uh, those tarantulas, uh, the idea to be, I don't know if you saw that uh, when she, because it's a female, the one that we saw because the abdomen is bigger, when they feel vibrations, that they're hard on the ground when we walk, so they go into the hole because they think it's a predator. There's a bunch of predators they have, raccoons, armadillos, eh, but the biggest predator that they have is a wasp. There is a, a, a Pepsi or tarantula wasp that is the biggest predator that they have. So apparently this is the direction of the sloth number two that the guide knows where he lives. But while we're waiting for that, Check out these fine names. These are all of our supporting channel members. Foot in the bill as we trek through the rainforest looking for slots. <laughs> Thanks guys. Thanks so much for your support. But will we see a sloth? I hope so. Other no. no. Man, I wonder how many people are gonna skip ahead right now. <laughs> I would. Pretty boring. Pretty boring, but you have to appreciate all these names here. Look at that uh, two toed sloth. There's not. Um, there's not three toed in this area. We only have the two toed. 
Look at that, how it's moving, it's active there. Feeding on the fruits and on the leaf. Have you seen them before? No, just in zoo. It's the first time. It's your first time. This is your lucky nine, because not all the time we got to see it. Not all the time we can see it. This is a very lazy animal. Look at that, scratching, doing a show for you guys. Look at that, there is, there is not a tail. We can just see the little head with the little nose, the eyes, the rest of the body. It's just uh, fur. Lesson to mat mat. Pájaro bobo en español, or people call them guardabarranco. Walking stick, hand for scale. <laughs> cool. Looks like a stick. <laughs> That's the idea. Oh, oh, stick. It's leaving us. Good job. Hi, stick. Good job, stick. Adios. Pass some anaphylactic chop. If not, as is, their poison is so strong, I've been stunned by them a bunch of times, and I'm not allergic, but it's painful. Uh -huh. You can see their shell looks kind of blue because of all the minerals that they have on their shell. Keratin, sang, uh, zinc, beta carbolina, all different minerals. The scorpions are important in the world because they are one of the animals with one of the insects that it controls all the pest insects. These are these ones. They feed on many pest insects, including the cockroaches. This is one of the favorite meals for them are cockroaches. So and they're, they are important because they balance and they control all the pest insects. Well, that wraps up another day. Thank you guys for taking along with us. Hope you found everything as interesting as we did. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.